Hey everyone, welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. It's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Thank you for clicking on the video and joining me today here in Grand Island, Nebraska. We are here at Eagle Crest Homes and we are going to take a look at one of their awesome modulars here. This is the Evergreen XL built by Bonavilla. Now this home is a three bed, two bath and it sits at 1,305 square feet. The dimensions of this home is a 44 by 30 and he, these homes can go on basements. The price of this home as shown is $209,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, everybody, let's have a great home tour of this modular home. Like I said, we are here at Eagle Crest Homes in Grand Island, Nebraska. Great folks here. Check them out if you're in the area and you need a home. They will absolutely take care of you. So just walking in right now, I'm amazed on the beauty of this home so far. We have eight foot uh, side walls with a flat textured ceiling. This is a sheetrock home all the way around. The size of this living room is 16 feet by 14 feet and has a good amount of space for your family. Now, spinning around, taking a look, we have our morning room or dining room. Uh, they call it a morning room here at Bonavilla, but this size is 10 feet by 14 feet. And we're gonna take a look at this kitchen here with some of the cabinetry. As you can see, um, the appliances aren't here, but how they do it here is, uh, that is an option. So, you know, when you go into the ordering process, you can pick your white, your black, or your stainless steel, or combination, or you don't need to get them. They will actually omit them here at Bonavilla. But um, walking into this kitchen, nice design. I like the, uh, the countertops. The countertops are nice little marble design kind of um, wrapped around so that, that, that material doesn't kind of creep up on you so that's good um, we have um, a tile all the way around a nice little uh, extended backsplash there corner cupboards those are pretty cool and then the quality construction in here rather nice I'm liking what I'm seeing so far what do you guys think you know let me know what you think about this home in the comments below or let's start a conversation about it let me know what you think and if you want to know more about the options and uh, features of this home because there's a few different ways that you can do this home um, there's a link in the description below it'll take you directly to the floor plan where you can see some more photos take a look at uh, some videos and a 3d tour and most importantly get that pricing directly from a retailer near you now we're taking a look at this nice um sink here this is a 60 40 um bowl if i said that right i had a couple people let me know what those were on my last video thank you so much um you, know, you run into some things that you see that you're not used to especially for myself i'm not a salesman I am a video guy, so you know, I'm learning every day as we're out here and 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 just soaking up all the knowledge. There's your electrical panel, of course, right now. We are in the mudroom laundry room. You have a coat rack here with wooden shelves and a wooden um, rod, which is nice. Um, we have textured walls there, if you can see that. That is really cool. I think I said sheetrock earlier. I do believe this is a drywall home, so forgive me on that one. And then right here, we have your water heater easily accessible in the um, laundry room which is nice plus you know right there that positioning you're gonna get hot water real fast into your clothes into your sink and everything else uh, one thing I do like about this home is that your kitchen is a little separate you know you have these open floor plans where you see everything you know um, I like a little bit of the separation and even this little bit of separation as we go into the uh, guest rooms you can see it um, this first room right here, this room is 8 feet 10 inches by 10 feet 11 inches. Um, the registers here in this home, I do believe it's because we're in Nebraska and more of a colder area, uh, they're on the ground right there as you can see on the floor, uh, but they're in the walls. They're not actually coming out of the ground. So that is a little different. I'm going to do some research on the difference of that and I'll touch base on that later on in another video. Um, we have a nice little size closet here, wooden shelving. Another wooden dowel. I like that. Nice size window. See, I like the way this home flows. It's, it's rather nice. And then, you know, right behind this door, since we're up north, you know, a lot of these homes go on basements. Well, this right here is your basement entryway. So um, if you are putting in a basement, you would have this area as your downstairs. Or if you're not having a basement, you can extend your living room there. So that's pretty cool, I like that. 
and then right over here behind here is that's your air conditioning unit and it's pretty much in the center of your home so um, that seems very efficient very efficient back over here we're going to take a look at the second guest room now this guest room is 10 feet 5 inches by 9 feet 11 inches so it is a little bigger than the other room a little more um, elongated if you will just by a tad nice size same window I like the doors the doors are very heavy and very strong in this home that's one thing that I like um, and then we have another wooden shelf here in the, uh, the closet really cool Let's take a look at this guest bath that honestly has a lot of room. I mean, we have a single vanity, of course, and a nice little tile backsplash, elongated water-saving toilets, um, and a 30 by 60 fiberglass shower tub combo in here. But the way it's designed, it just seems like it has more room than it really kind of does. So I'm liking that. I like that. What do you guys think? Let me know. And these tiles here, these tiles are individual tiles. Um, they are not like uh, lino or, or anything else like that. So good quality construction. And I mean, if for $209,000, I mean, the, the construction in here, it's well worth it, in my personal opinion. Um, so yeah. Now, let's take a walk on to the other side of the home. But in the meantime, um, if you haven't had a chance, there's a subscription button on the bottom there and a bell. If you hit that, you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted and you'll be able to catch up to Where's Will across the U.S. doing these home tours. And for everybody who has subscribed, I thank you so much. We're doing this completely organically and I am amazed at the support I'm getting from everybody. Um, thank you, thank you again. And now we're walking into the primary. The primary bedroom right here, the size is 11 feet by 14 feet. A good uh, amount of room. Um, and then you can also get a, uh, a different window there as an option. So remember to click that link and find out more. Um, sliding doors here for your closet and your primary but a good ample amount of room in here I would say for uh, for a home this size nice yeah you can turn that big single window into a double window so you have options in here so take a look at that take a look at that now let's go take a look at the primary bath here we have a nice fiberglass shower Come standard with this home. Black trim around the shower, I like that. Right over here, of course, we see dual vanities, one big mirror, and me just outside of this uh, camera frame. I'm taking a look. This home is really nice, I'm liking it. Um, and then there is your water saving elongated toilet right behind the door. So I like that as well. See, in some areas of the home, there's your register on the floor. So it all depends on, on the needs of the room, I'm going to assume. So, but I'm going to do some more research, like I said a little earlier, and let you know what I find. Or, hey, but you guys let me know. How's that? Uh, but this primary, um, you know, en suite is rather it's a nice size. I, I can dig it. It's just off, you know, the kids are on the other side. I can dig the whole house. Um, but, you know, there is another modular. This is the Evergreen XL built by Bonavilla. Um, I thank everyone for joining me today and I hope to see you on the next tour on Wednesday and Thursday, wherever those are going to be. But in the meantime, I hope that you have a wonderful day. You live smarter, you choose manufactured, and travel easy. See you in a couple days.